hello friends good to see you again through this video today today i wanted to share about this topic this is the title of this topic let us not lose our joy by trying to make everyone accept us let us not lose our joy by trying to make everyone to accept us right see today in the in the world we all try to you know please somebody right like or we wa always want uh, everybody to accept us right like you know whether we are doing a small work or whatever that we are doing we want people to approve our work or we want people to accept uh, for what we are doing right so that is uh, quite common for a uh, human mind but i wanted to share one important truth like you know uh, giving some uh, examples today from the scripture that uh, how when we are focused too much on trying to win others or when we are focused too much on trying to make others to accept us many times we will end up in losing our joy and that is what i wanted to share today see i wanted to give two examples today one is about a person who tried everything from his uh, power or who tried everything in his hand to make everybody to accept him right but eventually he lost his joy he even lost his life that was about one person which i wanted to share and then the second person is about uh, you know he was a person who in spite of people rejecting him his own family his own fam friends and relatives when they rejected him he did not care about it but rather than you know he ig just ignored them and he kept on you know doing good things for people who accepted uh, him and that is how we are going to understand that how we can able to retain our joy you know just ignoring the people who don't accept us or people who don't approve us that is what i am going to share with you today so the first person whom i wanted to talk is it is about haman right so we all know about uh, the story of haman if you read in uh, the book of esther we you know about haman and we know about mordecai and esther so many times we learn about mordecai and esther and uh, that is where like you know we feel like you know that they are the true heroes of that story that's true but there is also a very important uh, you know life lesson for us from the experience of haman or from uh, you know from the life experience of haman because we see if you read in uh, Esther chapter 3 verse 1 and 2 this is what it says the king ahasuerus promoted haman the agagite the son of hamathedha and advanced him and set his throne above all the officials who were with him so we see here the king promoted haman right like the king promoted haman above all the officials of that court king's court and all the king's servants who were at the king's gate bow down and paid homage to him but mordecai did not bow down or pay homage see this is now we need to understand the background here we see haman being blessed with authority you know the king is giving him authority over all his court officials you know so he has lot of wealth you know he has the power authority fame you know whatever a man could ask in this world haman has everything and every people you know the people around him like you know the the king's servants who were at the king's gate they bowed down and paid homage to him and that's what the bible says but there was only one person who defied him and right like who was not willing to give respect because you know mordecai was like you know was a jew and for him to bow down before a man is like uh, you know you cannot bow down before a man instead of god you know because you know for a jew you know it is always god that has to be the first priority and who you know who receives that uh, respect from from a man so what happens now haman after getting all this benefits you know after being in uh, you know receiving this authority power and you know the respect from every people now what happens if you read in esther chapter 3 verse 5 when haman saw that mordecai did not bow down or pay homage to him haman was filled with fury see this is the biggest you know this is the turning point that triggered the collapse for haman right because imagine on one side haman blessed with such power authority influence the wealth and whatever a person can ask in this world he had everything but there was only one thing that that you know that uh, that was not happening for him which was like mordega was not bowing down to him so now 
just Heyman could have easily you know ignored Mordegai because he had everything he had the authority you know other people are respecting him so you know just what what is the matter with this one particular guy you know he could have just ignored and he could have enjoyed his life you know he could have just stayed on the authority you know he could have like you know be with his family you know enjoy the blessings whatever he had but instead he chose the wrong path right like you know what he did he was trying to make Mordegai to somehow bow down to him. And in that event, what happened, he was filled with fury. And one after another, he started to devise some kind of a plan, all wicked plans to somehow pull down Mordegai or somehow, somehow make Mordegai to bow down to him or even eliminate Mordegai and this, you know, and this uh, group of people. And eventually we know what happened whatever the plan that Mordegai you know plotted against him whatever the plan that uh, Haman plotted against Mordegai so eventually you know Mordegai was like uh, was able to come in the favor of king and we see Haman lost his life you know he even that you know he was uh, even put hanged on the same tree pole which he was getting ready for Mordegai so my dear friends the question here before us you know many times we also in our life are acting like Haman right because you know if there are like say 100 people you know who we are dealing with today many times we expect all those 100 people should ac accept us or I should have the approval and acceptance of all these people around my life whether it's my family relative circle friends you know or my colleagues or whoever it is we want to be accepted by everyone but in reality that is not at all possible because it, we, we know for sure, you know, uh, actually uh, 90 out of 100 people may accept you. But there will be always like 10, 15 people who will not accept with you, you know, because they will have their own opinion or they may even dislike you or they may not, they may not like what uh, you are doing or they may be jealous about you. There are so many reasons why people don't like others, right? You know, we cannot classify, you know, this is the reason why they don't like. There can be n number of reasons why people don't like others. So in this end of world, so my question is, are we going to focus on the people who approve us or who accept us or are we so much focused on people who are not approving us trying to win their approval you know trying to do something and you know trying to go out of our way to do something in the event in the event what happens we eventually lose our joy you know the same way how Haman lost his position his life you know he lost everything that he had because he was focused on only one person he was focused on somehow getting Mordegai under his hand or somehow making Mordegai to bow down to him. So the question today before you and me, are we going to be like a Haman today in this world? So we have to just analyze, we have to just analyze and see, you know, how, where our priorities are, like, you know, how we are focused in relationships with other people. Are we trying our, uh, you know, uh, are we putting extra effort to somehow win over the people or are we just, you know, letting it go when people ignore us or when people, you know, just going to come and say, you know, I don't like it or uh, then they criticize us. How, how are we handling those situations? We need to understand. And that is why here comes the second person, the person which I wanted to give you as an example. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he set a very good example of how you can ignore people who don't accept you. You know, if you, if you read in the uh, Gospel of Matthew, uh, if you read chapter 13, verses from 55, 56, 57 and 58. So here we see Jesus Christ was preaching in his hometown. You know the town where he was brought brought up, and he were, he had his friends, family, relatives, everybody there, right? You know he were, he had this opportunity to preach in the synagogue at one, in one point of time. So it is at that time, you know, when the law, when when Jesus Christ preached, everybody were astonished. You know, everybody were like surprised by the amount of wisdom, the knowledge, and the wisdom understanding he had over the scriptures. And they they were all like asking, you know, how is this guy? You know, how is this possible for this guy? He was just like the son of Mary. You know, the son of carpenter Joseph. You know, we know all his brothers and sisters here. So how is this guy got so such kind of an enlightenment? You know, such kind of a knowledge and understanding. You know, instead of appreciating him or instead of, you know, feeling happy that, you know, one person among them is really doing great, what they did, you know, they became, they grew jealous, they took offense at him. You know, the Bible says, if you read in Matthew chapter 13, verse 57 and 58, they took offense at Jesus 
and but Jesus said to them this is what Jesus replied this is the beautiful reply he said right a prophet is not without honor except in his hometown and in, in his own household see when he meant like this you know many times our rejections our disapprovals will come from within our family itself or within our close circle within our close friends or close relatives so that is why sometimes you know we become so burdened or we become so like you know uh, kind of uh, worked up and like you know we want to somehow get their approval and we strive you know we lose our joy we put a hard work we put a lot of un unwanted effort trying to win the people who we can never win that is what we need to understand today see jesus did not you know when he knew for sure that his hometown people that his family you know his own family and relatives are are going to reject him he did not like you know lose his joy because of that you know he did not you know put his time and effort and energy to win over them or somehow convince them to accept him you know rather than he chose to spend his time with people you know with unknown people who believed in him you know who came to him with a sense of gratitude who came to him you know with a sense of expectation you know with a sense of you know faithfulness you know expecting that the lord is able to do something for them and for them the lord did miracles you know uh, matthew chapter 13 verse 58 says jesus did not do any mighty works or any miracles in his hometown because of their unbelief see this is what my dear friends we need to know you know when we keep on spending our time when, when we keep on spending our time and energy with people who will never approve us who will never accept us it is only a waste of time for us right rather than you find people who accept you who who approve your work who approve what you are doing and give your time energy and whatever that you can spend for them you know at, at least they would be grateful to you and that is what jesus did and that is why we see you know whenever people come with expectancy to the lord he sees whether they have the faith whether they believe that the lord can do it for them and then based on their belief and faith the lord was able to do miracles but his hometown people they ignored him and they lost everything you know they couldn't even witness mighty works of jesus because of their unbelief or because they were not willing to approve him or you know accept him so today the question before you and me is very simple are we going to be like haman in spite of having everything that we need right but still we are not satisfied or we are very focused on worried about one person who is not accepting us and trying to you know do something you know trying to bring him into our fold you know in the in that event he lost everything right he lost his even his own life but on the other side jesus did show us a very good example right he said you don't need to worry about people who disapprove you who reject you because of what you are doing you know when you and i we know that we are walking in the direction of the lord we are accountable to god we don't need to worry about the approval of men right like and that is why today the lord is giving himself as our as our example to follow so that we don't need to lose our joy just by trying to get the approval of everybody around us May the Lord bless this word. You all have a blessed and a happy day. God bless you.